敵を許してはならないこの戦争は最終局面に近づきつつありこの中域を取り返すことは戦局に大影響を与える Hey how's it going ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the Seven Voice channel Today we're going to be building the high grade Gundam Thunderbolt the gym and uh honestly though from my you know from my memories uh, the gym in this kind of thunderbolt series is always just getting shot by the uh zaku with the huge sniping rival thing but anyways do not underestimate the gym okay it looks extremely cool although the storyline is based on uh doubles uh it's based on the one year war time but i still feel like this gym doesn't look like a one year war version more look like an advanced version it looks like a paralyzed universe version but anyway, we're just going to take a quick look on the side. So we got some paintings here, and then we got some action figure here, and then some introduction in Japanese as well. And then we got some, you know, a little bit of introduction as well. Right, now we're just going to take a look of the instruction manual first. As you can see, though, uh, the Thunderbolt version, it is a little bit different than the XGUZ one. Perhaps I should say it looks better than the than the uh, xguz ones so we can see there's some ex, uh, you know introduction and then we can see that there's like a you know how do you put on the backpack shield and then flip it to open it's just a usual menu about how do you put things together and at the back here is the most interesting part it does contain the um stickers like the rg or the origin series and then um there's like the weapon layout for you to kind of look at it and this is the introduction in Japanese. Okay, so we're gonna take a look first. So the C runner is mainly the um the beam rivals, the cannons, and then we got a piece of shield, and then we got the um backpack parts, some type some type of backpack parts, and then we have some torso parts here, and then we have um I'm not really sure, but this is like the waist part here. Uh, the E1 part is mainly the thrusters and the shield logo, and as well as the torso, uh, the torso yellow part. And then the G runner, we can see there's the joints for the legs, for the arms, and overall we can see this kind of texture with, um, you know, with um, like cloth texture, cloth texture, and then we have a shield connector as well. A E2 runner that contains um, the backpack joint uh, on the torso and then we have uh, I believe this is like the I don't really know which part is this the feet or something I think it's feet and then we have a B2 runner with shields with um, torsos and feet again we have an A runner that contains the backpack the uh, arms for the shield and then we have all and then we have the whole section of hands here and then we have the head here and then we have the arms unit here and then we have all kind of white part on the armors we got some waist parts some kind of torso part as well and then we have the shield the inner shield the feet part the legs part here and then we have some arms here and then we have the the you know the little circle thing on the side of the arms and then we have you know arms unit as well and then we have two type and then we have of course the clear part for the camera and then a normal sticker and one uh marking sheet and also a very large um poly cap and this is pretty much the runners so let's get to building and we will see you guys at review
Hey guys, welcome back to the review of the um, gym from the Gundam Funnel Ball. So this is the finishing of it. So uh, I don't seem to say though, this is, as I said at the beginning, this is like the most cool, this is like a cooler version of the uh, gym from the one year war. Um, I honestly need to say though, uh, I have to repeat it again. The Thunderball series really sounds like a parallel, uh, like a paralleled universe to me. And it's, you know, it is the same design like the One Year War gym, but like, you know, the overall feeling and the overall equipment, it just make me feel like it's like a couple years later. But anyways, this is not the pop topic. So um, overall, the finish is pretty good. And um, there, there's, of course, stickers being used. Basically, the yellow part on the waist and the legs is all of them are stickers, so which is a part that I'm t that I am um, a little bit of disappointed because I understand the waist should be using the stickers because it's so small and cannot be, you know, easily um, making a color separation between it. But the legs, though, there's a thing called that you know they can they could have just used the modern XG or you know the RG type of uh, color separation just get one piece here and then just put the white piece over the yellow piece and then, you know, do the color separation thing. But anyways, this is another topic that's not really the point. So, you know, let's start with the head again. So the head can lift up and then, you know, can rotate around as well. Uh, but, you know, not really much to talk about. It's just a normal gym head like the other gym variations. Um, so the front camera and the back camera of the head, which you cannot see is right here. Uh, they both are stickers. So that's pretty much the head. So the chest here, um, I must tell you that you have to do some color and you, you have to get your marker and then, you know, kind of color the yellow piece here. It is very important and it's showing you a lot of detail. If you don't use the marker to, you know, kind of paint the little holes between it, it doesn't look very good. Um, so my suggestion is get a marker and then kind of mark it. So the color separation at the torso is doing a pretty good job. Um, as you can see here, it is a pretty normal standard gym torso. There's not much to talk about, but the logos on it, uh, there's three logos on it. So you can, you know, sort of call it a detail. Uh, the chest is not really much thing to say about, but uh, I must say though, I'm impressed that they give you a uh, two different colors separation on the chest here. One is the gray part here and one is the yellow part here. So let's talk about the arms. So the arms can lift up, the arms can bend, and then, you know, can move 360, no problem. And then, you know, it's a normal thing that it does go with a called polycap for you to move for the front. The shoulder piece is an individual piece that you can move. And then, you know, the arms down here can rotate as well. And, you know, right now they, it, uh, each, uh, each hands are holding different weapon. This side's a normal beam rifle and this side's a beam cannon thing. Um, but anyway, that's pretty fine. Uh, the thing that I really want to say about is, um, is they doing a pretty good job by giving you a separate, separate color, separate pieces on the thrusters. And the thrusters is actually pretty easy to sand down the, sand down the plastic. So, you know, you won't get like a very irregular circle. And, I think that's just pretty good. And overall, you might ask why the joint looks a bit weird. Like it's not as clean or smooth like the other joints on the Gampa. It's because, you know, the Thunderbolt actually have a pretty stupid thing. And excuse my language is actually pretty stupid. The Thunderbolt got a pretty stupid thing is, uh, they put a cloth over the joint of the gambler is for what uh blocking the particles in space i believe that's the reason uh, but personally i don't really like that idea and now moving down to the waist so the waist uh all the yellow part that you see that you will see on the waist is actually all stickers so no color separation uh the size skirt here is the thing that i don't like it is a ball joint it's very easily to pop out uh the front skirt you have to cut it in half so it get, it does give you a individual movement so i really like that idea uh, uh, the whole upper body can turn around uh, 360 as well. It's pretty fine. Uh, the legs can kick to the front on a pretty high angle, kick to the back. Of course, not happening. And then, you know, bend a certain angle like this during there is a little bit of interruption on the joint design. And as you can see here, we have a separate piece of color that being put on on the side of the knees. So I pretty like that idea. And again, you know, the joints on the gamma is using that kind of cloth um, texture and I don't really like it as I mentioned. Um, so on the side of the legs, we can see some yellow part here is actually by stickers. So, and it's pretty easy to scrub off. So, um, I, my recommendation to you is uh, try to keep your hands sweat out of you. Try to keep, try, try to wash your hand if you have a lot of hand sweat because the hand sweat can actually 
get the stickers off and not really recommend it and the legs down here there's not really much and then uh, i mean the feet the feet down here is not really much to talk about it's a ball joint you can move up and down you know side to side as well and then we have a one little extra piece of armor here that you can move by pushing it and yeah that's pretty much the legs we're gonna take a quick look on the backpack so the backpack um it is a you know a kind of like a big backpack i guess it's a pretty big backpack and um <clears throat> And we have five thrusters here that you need to repaint the outside to gray. I believe the outside of the thrusters should be gray. It's not, sh it's not a whole yellow. And we have, we have this movable part on the top here, which you can swap around. So it's basically simple. We have a shield, we have a shield attached to the Gunplus kit. All you have to do is just pull out one side and then you find the joint and then you put it back in like that. So, you know, this is like a, this is like the first shield here. So as you can see, he's putting on a shield. It's pretty simple. You just pull the pop, just pull the top out and then, you know, sup, zup the, um, shield back in. So, you know, you need to find the joint exactly. So that might be, that might take you a little time, but once you find it, it's completely fine like this. So as you can see right here, uh, we put on the shield and now it looks like the, you know, a, a mass production, mass production version of the, uh, the full armor Gundam. And that's pretty much it. And the shield, uh, it can move side to side as well. Oops. And it's very easy to fall, fall off. So please be careful. Um, it can rotate to the front. It is pretty limited on the rotation angle. So you might want to watch out and uh, frankly, you might want to, you have to push the, you, when you push in the shield, you have to, you know, push in a little bit, uh, harder. So you, it won't, it will stop popping out like this. So now you have a two shield hanging at the side like this. Now we're just going to briefly talk about the accessory because I basically put every accessory on the, off the gun or on the body right now. So as you can see here, we have a beam you know, a uh, short rival. I don't really know what's that called, but we have one here and then we have a cannon right here. Um, that, that, uh, does this design remind you of something? Uh, if you all remember, I did a video about the Blue Destiny Unit 3. I can tell you this is exactly the same design that on the Blue Destiny Unit 3. And yes, and then we have two shields. And of course, uh, for those of old school players, if you really want to put the shield on the side, of, uh, on the arms, there's the connector. And we also come with a very uh, fist hand that is really lame. There's no beam sabers on this gunpla. I can't find it anywhere else. There's no handles. There's no beaver part. So basically all you can play with on this gunpla is shield and guns. That's it. So there you have it, guys. This is a very quick review and it's a pretty short review because there's not really much things to talk about on the gunpla. Um, I really need to say though, this gym looks way cooler than the one year war version of the gym so that's why i keep saying it looks like from an auto universe but uh but uh i would say though if you you know looking for a kit that will uh, that you can build quickly and have fun with it i'm de de definitely recommending this one and <clears throat> also <clears throat> i re so since now they got the thunderbolt version completed they should probably reconsidering making a 2.0 version for the gym because you know the xg user gym that we have is pretty old i'm and i mean the og one not like the gym 2 or gym 3 um they should they should probably you know take take a look you know back in the very early days and then you know pulling that old design from 1999 back to 2090 and i really wish they have a revived version for the original gym uh, that's pretty much it. So I thank you for watching. Drop a like on my videos and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in another Gunpla review. Goodbye.